Australia were always going to have an edge in terms of travel back to Sydney from San Pedro Sula, but flight charts from the two camps shows just how great an advantage their precisely planned trip has given them. While Ainge post Cogless men were immediately whisked away from the scene of their O2O first leg stalemate and onto an opulent chartered flight, the Hondurans were left waiting and waiting, leaving five hours after Australia, and on a longer path to their destination. The trip from Honduras to Sydney with a brief stopover in Hawaii only took the Socceroos 21 hours, with a two-hour stopover in Honolulu sandwiched by two relatively manageable nine-and-a-half-hour flights. Los Catracos, on the other hand, landed in Los Angeles on Saturday morning for a layover so long that they rented hotel rooms and even had time for a training session the following afternoon. If the difference in travel time was enough, Honduran sources conceded that some players would even be forced to fly to Sydney in economy class, which was confirmed via quotes in Honduran newspaper dies, attributed to team manager Gerardo Ramos. Not all, but the vast majority of players will travel in business class to Sydney. The rest of the delegation will go in a lower class with some players, the coach will make the decision as to who travels with more comfort. The Hondurans finally arrived in Sydney at 9 a.m. Monday morning, nearly an entire day after the Socceroos, who landed at midday on Sunday. They will train once on Monday and Tuesday before Wednesday's clash, where a win or score draw will see them advance to the World Cup at Australia's expense. All in all, the Socceroos were in transit for roughly 16 hours less than their opponents, and had a five-hour head start. Travel time and the advantage of flying in comfort are crucial to success in international sport, and Australia have given themselves the best possible launch pad to Russia with this itinerary. Recovery time is a very important thing in international football, especially over such distances, defender Trent Sainsbury told AAP upon arrival back in Sydney. Every little bit counts in such big games. Honduras still have a long way to go. We're already here and we can recover and be fresh. That's an advantage for us and we'll take every little advantage we can get at the moment.